Hi there and welcome to lesson number three of the Hearts of Iron 4 Iron Workshop modding lessons. In this lesson we're going to learn about debug mode, why you need it, what does it do, and how do you access debug mode. Now please note that at the beginning I'm going to give some background about debug mode, so if you want to skip to just to the part that shows you how to activate debug mode, just use the timestamps uh, in the description of the video and you can jump straight there. Alright, so what is debug mode? Debug mode is the mod that opens the game um, in a state where it's meant for the eyes of a developer or somebody who is working on the game and not a player. Now this mod does slow down a bit more than the non-debug mode and that is because it has more information to display and it's uh, actually updating files more frequently uh, than when the game is not in debug mode. It also gives you access to logs which show you if there are any errors or any issues with uh, the startup of the game or any particular function in the game and these logs are crucial for you to understand if you did something wrong so if you were thinking about starting modding without debug mode, you should definitely not do that. Debug mode should be your first thing to do. Now also please note that debug mode is not perfect. Uh, although it will show you many issues that you might encounter uh, when you mod the game, it will not show you all of them. Now in very rare cases, debug mode might not show you what the error is, even if the game is crashing. And these times can be quite frustrating, but they can be countered by you just learning and adapting the way you work and just making sure that you're not making very big changes uh, before you test that the smaller changes that you did are not causing some kind of instability. Another thing that enabling debug mode gives you is access to the notch tool, which will help you greatly when you're trying to mod the map of the game. However, that tool is also not perfect, it does have its issues, but it can help you if you're doing any changes to the map of the game, and the only way to access it is by activating debug mode. And one last thing that you should know about debug mode is that in debug mode, many aspects of the game are updated on the go, which means that you don't need to close the game and start it again to see changes. Now, this is not true for everything, but it is true for most things that you will be working on. All right, now let's see how we can access and activate debug mode. Now my approach to this is a bit different than what you may have seen other people do. And that is because I think that it's much easier and simpler for you when you have access both to a game with the debug mode on and the game without the debug mode on. Since then you can juggle between them and if you want to see how things uh, look in the game without debug mode, you can do that as well without constantly changing things. So this is what we're going to do. First of all, we'll need to locate the Hearthstone 4 installation on your computer. Now here I already have a shortcut to it, but in most cases it will probably be in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Hearthstone 4. So once you have that located, what you'll need to do is to go to the HOI4 executable file, right click. Here you'll have an option called Send to Desktop and that will create a shortcut of the game on your desktop. Once you have your icon on the desktop, you'll need to right click, go to Properties and here in the line that says Target, go to the end of the line, put your cursor at the end of the line, hit Space and then type minus debug, D-E-B-U-G, and hit OK. Now what this does is tells the game to start the executable and add the debug command in the end. What we just did is to tell the game to start the HOI4 executable and add the minus debug command at the end. So you'll notice that once you start the game from this executable, it will start in debug mode and you will have access to the nudge tool and all of those things that we've discussed at the beginning of the video. Now you should just know that starting the game from this shortcut will not open the launcher. 
uh, which will not enable you to select the resolution and other aspects of the game, but it is quicker. And for somebody who is modding, it is more important for you to start the game quicker if you're not changing these things all the time. If you do need to change the resolution, you will just need to start the game normally with the launcher. And with the launcher, it will start without the debug mode, enabling you to see how the game looks without it. For me, this is a much more comfortable way of doing this, since I don't have to wait every time for the launcher to start again and then start the game and uh, is a much quicker way to use debug mode. Okay, so that is it. This is how you activate debug mode in the game. One last step that I can give you is that you should probably use the game when in debug mode, uh, in window mode, because that will reduce uh, the amount of time that you will spend on closing and opening the game if you need to access various files on your computer and makes things much more smooth and much easier to handle. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Hey guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Check out these other videos on the Iron Workshop that you might enjoy as well. Please consider supporting the Iron Workshop on Patreon. This will allow the channel to grow and become even better. Thank you.